I know all the secrets to making a million dollars and beyond in video games. Hello, everybody. I'm Kindly Kid, and whether it's making a million dollars by literally selling sushi rolls that are made of money or growing the world's biggest tree that grows money, I got it all unlocked. The secrets are here. Let's go. Welcome to Money Rush. Yeah, it's one of those games, but I like the progression here. Basically, we turn this little 50 cent coin into insane amounts of money. And of course, the best way to do that is to, I guess, level up your coin. But also offline income? What does that even mean? I, I guess I'll upgrade it. I don't know. I now have 80 cents. So let's play the game and stack up some cash. Okay, four to four dollars. Okay, get a key. Let's add 45 cents. Multiply it times two. And then suddenly you have nine bucks. And then what? I guess you, you get cash or something. Did I just get $100 for $9? It seems like a pretty good exchange. Level three, we can upgrade our offline income, which I still don't understand. Also, if I watch an ad, I can get 50 cents. Seems like a fair trade. Let's do it. Yo, I'm now starting with 30 bucks. What? That said 50 cents and I have $30 suddenly. Okay, you know what? Oh, 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 uh, aren't those the same? A uh, uh, hundred and, what? Oh gosh, okay, you gotta get the multipliers. D very confusing. You have to do like math on the fly. And that's something that I struggle with. I mean, I've played a lot of Baldi's Basics, but come on. Oh, this is very tempting. We can climb the leaderboards and get out of the homeless rank? Get the times five. I just got $4,000. Uh, yeah, let's upgrade our coin. Oh, that's a okay. So it's only a one-time thing. You only get the crazy like $30 multiplier once and then you gotta watch another ad which I'm kind of tempted to do because it was pretty good. Let's just play the game. I'm not going to worry about the offline income because I feel like I'm not really going to like have this game offline all that often. I don't know. It's it's a weird upgrade that doesn't really make sense to me. Let's get the bigger number. I mean, that's obvious. Collect the coins. Don't hit the divider. That seems like a bad idea and make 15 bucks. But then multiply it. What, what are you going to give me? $85? $85 for $15 or, or something? I don't know. I did just unlock a new skin. It's donuts. Why would I want to be donuts in a money game? Although I kind of do want to be donuts in a money game. I have unlocked donut money. And now I've gone up on the leaderboard. I'm very poor. So that's a win. Let's upgrade our coin levels. And uh, I do see some like dividers that seem very bad for my overall donut gains. Dodge the divider. Okay, get the donuts, get the 30 cents. Multiply times four, divide by one, who cares? Nobody. Get 240 cents, add 30 cents. Whoa, my brain is in overdrive. I, and that was like very simple math. It was like, pick the red one or the blue one. And I was still like, I don't know, it's a hard choice. Still very poor. With 530 bucks, I feel like I should be better than that. I don't know. Let's level up and continue this adventure. We do want to aim for the blue panels, which is going to be easier said than done. But okay, dodge. Yeah, good. Times two. We want the 200 cents, of course. I mean, that's pretty obvious. Divide by one. That's pretty obvious. Don't do times one. That's not good. Minus seven or 70 or time. Oh, I hit the wrong one. You don't want times one. Divide by one is nothing times one is nothing they're very tricky they're a little tricky with that maneuver there now what is this diamonds I, like a like a ruby can i unlock a ruby coin i don't i don't really know i kind of want to try give me three more keys i played this game a super long time ago this was one of the first mobile games i ever played very cool game cats all right give me the weird coin come on game come on lower left that hurts, I'm not gonna lie. Well, we're guaranteed to get it this time and it's gonna be the last chest, isn't it? I feel like that is not a coincidence. I feel like they make you do that, which is very mean. Moving up the leaderboards. Let's upgrade our coin level. And now we're like, jewel coins i don't even know how to describe what what has happened to our coins but it's pretty cool i'm gonna get the start big ad i'm doing it okay we're starting at 30 dollars, which seems pretty good let's uh let's multiply it of course that's the dream add 75 cents here and there i i oh uh, uh saving yes okay i okay sure get that get the times two 
times two, a hundred bucks. Uh, go to school. Yes, you're rich now. I, I can't help but notice that I was at like $49 and I hit the times two and it didn't take me to $98, which is where it should have taken me. I'm a little upset about that. Give me times five. Oh, we are making bank. Get me out of the very poor. Come on. We need a thousand bucks, I bet. All right, rank up our coins. Make some money. Let's go. Times three. Oh, that's so good. Plus 245 cents. Taxes? No, there's no escape. You know what they say. You, you can't you can't escape taxes. I, I don't know if that was the right choice there, Um, but I went with it because it seemed like the dividing was better or worse. I, I don't know, though. Like, do you take divide by two or do you take minus like a, a specific number? I can't do the math that quickly. Look at all. Look at all these weird skins you can get. I'm going back to coin life because that's what the game's about. Making little coins into bigger coins. I'm still very poor. Level me up. We're starting with $2.60. We're making our way up. All right. Grab the 160 cents times two plus 100 minus. Who cares? Oh, more taxes. Cannot escape the taxes. All right. We add 160 cents. We add 145. We divide by one. Life is good. But my brain still kind of hurts. It's, 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 there's a lot going on. Hey, I'm just poor now. We're moving up the leaderboards. All right. I got the big coin booster. I'm starting with 30 bucks. We don't want times one. We want that. We want times two. Thank you very much. Plus 30 cents. Plus 255 cents. Okay. Get the coins. Get as many coins as possible get that interest oh my goodness dodge that divide by two not six uh plus 160 plus 60 plus 70 plus one <laughs> It's better than times one. I know it sounds crazy, but plus one is better than times one. Look at that score. That is beautiful. Multiply that. Moving on up. We have $1,300 in our bank account. Let's upgrade our coins. $3.65. I got one penny for every day in a year. Give me that interest. Yes. Thank you. Uh, uh, plus 225. I mean, duh. Um, pfft. I don't know if that was the right choice. I think this is the right choice. If you got two bad choices, pick the less bad choice. That's the secret to life. <laughs> okay, uh, yes. I don't know if that was the right way to go. Well, no, if you think about it, Minus 515 cents is about minus, I don't know, $5. But dividing by two, if you have, I think I had like 30 or 40 bucks, would have been like 20 bucks. I made the right choice. I just had to do the math afterwards. <laughs> All right, moving right along. I do have to say, I think the hardest part about this game is just doing the on the fly math. Everything else about it, like actually playing the game, it's not that hard. I do wish there was a way to dodge my taxes, but uh, let's not take that out of context. There you go. I made 31 bucks and I paid my taxes, okay? What in the world? I can become a gear. I don't really care. Plus, knowing this game, it's gonna make me play until I'm at the very last chest. And I don't care enough. I did just I did just unlock a new skin though, and they're tires. You know what? Let's claim them. Well, would you look at that? I'm now a bunch of wheels. So much for money. Oh well. Let's just uh let's live our best life. Oh I ran right into it. That was very bad. Uh work or chill? Uh, I guess work. Uh, that was huge, apparently. Um, neither of those mattered there. The times one, the divide by one. Uh, get the plus one, even though that's kind of lame. And plus 65 cents. Hey, look at me. 64 bucks in wheels. I wonder what the exchange rate on wheels is. $1,600 on the leaderboard. Let's go big money strats. Start big. All right, the big money run of our dreams. Let's do this. From nothing to what we have now. Dodge the 80 cents. Oh, I managed. Um, uh. Uh, yeah, 290 because that was in dollars. Oh my gosh, it's so confusing. Why do they mess with my brain like that? It's not cool. It's really, it's really, <laughs> so we basically had the choice of like $3.20, 290 cents. Obviously $3.20 is more than 290 cents, but it's all just like very confusing. They really, really mess with your head. But would you look at that from rags to slightly more riches? We Welcome back to Baldi's Basics. Baldi loves money. It's gonna get you into trouble, Baldi. A mod by John BB06. Let's get the story of what's going on here. Baldi has won the lottery. Oh, okay. And has a lot of stacks of money around the schoolhouse. Because of his greediness, 
principal has left the schoolhouse. Meanwhile, you heard about Baldi's stacks of money in his schoolhouse and decide to go to the school to steal them. But be careful, Baldi really likes money and he hates when they get stolen or wrong answer on a math problem. They're on the same level. So if you get a problem wrong, you better run. Collect all seven stacks of money and get out before Baldi gets you. Okay, seems weird. Let's do this. Oh, hi. Hi. Look what I got. Money. I got money. That's right. I just won the lottery today. Congratulations. And all the money is mine. All mine. Also, uh, for some reason, Principal left the schoolhouse. Cause I don't you're, know why, but yeah. You're crazy. Also, uh, Playtime is addicted to Friday Night Market that now she wants to make people jump while rapping. I know, it's kind of weird, but that's what she is right now. And, what? uh, Goddess Sweep is now broken because while he was sweeping the floors, accidentally jumped and the, the door broke him, causing his stick to snap. I know it's really sad, but... Oh, and uh, one more thing. First Price's battery is low, so he's uh, charging in the principal's office right now. Oh. Oh. All right, that's enough what I have to say to you. Okay. Don't steal my money stacks. Okay. okay. Well, that was quite the explanation of things that are going on in the schoolhouse today. I do want to see first prize charging in principal's office, and I definitely want to see playtime doing... I couldn't really tell what he said, but it sounded weird. Let's get our first stack of money. Time to do some math. I think I understand why Baldi loves money so much, because, like, you know, counting it and stuff is, is like, basic math. Hey, At, did you just steal my money stacks? Yeah. Didn't I tell you that the money is all mine? Whoa. Okay, one more chance. If you steal one more of my money, I'm gonna literally gonna come you with my new and approved golden ruler. That's right. My ruler is now golden. Oh, you're expecting for a shiny quarter. Too bad! Because of you stealing my money stacks, no quarter for you today! <laughs> so aggressive. I thought we were cool, Baldi, but money's changed you, man. I don't like this new Baldi. He has a golden ruler. Of course he has a golden ruler. All right, I guess we're going to take the second money stack and make Baldi real mad. And, like, extra mad, because not only are we taking that stack of money, which makes him upset, we're going to answer the math problem incorrectly, which is, like, double upsetness. Here we go. Get back here with my money stacks. He's so mad. He's got the golden ruler. I really want to see him with the golden ruler. There he is. Oh, his... His eyes turn red. He's so mad. All right, so we don't have to worry about principal, I guess, which is super nice. We can basically run through the hallways and we don't have to worry about getting detention for going through school faculty rooms. That's that's pretty cool. First prize, you in there, buddy? Oh yeah, oh yeah, he's plugged in. <laughs> I love it. Like a Roomba. He had to go to his docking station and charge up. You are not getting away with my money. I'm trying to help you, Baldi. This money has changed you. It's made you into a monster, and I don't respect it. So my thought is, is that since we can basically run all the time, the zesty bars are going to be real helpful. Also, I should probably grab uh, some scissors in case, you know, playtime does whatever she's going to do. This is going well so far. Can't really complain. Still haven't run into playtime, which is very surprising. Oh, he's close. Oh my gosh, he's really close. <laughs> that was a little scary. Uh, I wasn't expecting him to show up quite that quickly. You know what? Eat the zesty bar and just run for your life. What is that? Oh! Oh! Okay. I, I don't know what that was, but she seemed pretty upset. I guess, yeah, I guess Playtime's like super into to rap now. I'm not sure where the jump rope fits in with this whole new theme, but sure. <laughs> you gotta have your hobbies and that's cool. Oh no, no! You ruined everything, arts and crafters. Okay, okay, um, uh, ooh, this is, this is bad. This is bad. I'm, I'm out of stamina. I'm out of stamina. 
Okay, please rest. There's, oh no, he's gonna catch me. There's no, there's nothing I can do. That ended as quickly as it started. I totally missed the little intro audio thing at the beginning of the game. But since I died, I got to hear it. So I figured let's go back and you guys can hear it too. Cause it's interesting. I love money. <laughs> I love magic, magic. I'm out, I'm out. I'm so, so I'm tired of recording this. I'm out, I'm out, I am out. I'm he, he's out. I think that was principal. He's sick and tired of Baldy being so greedy. He left. It's fair. Fair enough. Let's try again. Oh. All right. I, yeah. Hi, Baldy. You're going to give got, me the whole I rundown of the entire situation in the school right now. I've already heard it. I, I just got to go straight for the stacks of money. I got to save you from yourself. That's what we're doing. Did you just steal my money stacks? No. Didn't I tell you that the No, I'm just money? borrowing them. Okay. Until you kind of one. cool down a little bit. All right. We're in trouble. It's bad. Bad things are happening. So remember, we can go into school faculty rooms without any kind of punishment, which is super cool. But we need to use that to our advantage. No! No! I, no! Playtime. Playtime. Okay. All right. I, you know what? Fine. 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 We're gonna- Okay, we're doing this. I, I love your hat, by the way. It's very cool. I, I love the pink hat. It's great. Alright, we're leaving. Goodbye. Goodbye, playtime. Let's not play again sometime soon. How's that? Oh! Dude! I totally thought Baldy was on the other side of the school. That scared me so much. Let's pretend that didn't happen. Alright, second try. Definitely my second try. I'm going the same route. I like going into the school faculty room here, getting that zesty bar. What I don't like is getting caught by playtime and having to jump rope rap. Jump roping and rapping by themselves are already hard enough. But when you combine them, forget it. Okay, well, there goes that quarter. What's in this room? Oh, right, we got a quarter. That's nice, thank you. You know what, I'm gonna eat the zesty bar and I'm gonna run, because I don't want to get caught by Baldy, which is fair, right? Oh, let's see if I can beat her. I got it! Okay, I got away. Oh, I, okay. I, I thought that you couldn't go into the classroom for some reason, but you totally can. So here we are. All right, thanks for that, playtime. Let's grab another zesty bar. Very helpful. And uh, I'll grab this B soda. I still haven't seen Gotta Sweep. And his broken handle. Because he got it stuck in a door? That was the explanation? <laughs> it's very strange. I feel bad for him, honestly. I mean, in broom terms, that's like breaking your arm. That's a bad day. Poor got a sweep. All he wants to do is sweep. Okay, I feel like this run is going better than our previous two attempts. Although that can change very quickly, as we know. There's Baldy and his golden ruler, of course. Is there anything worth getting in here? Isn't this where the lock is? Yeah. Um, you know what? Let's blast Baldy down the hallway and grab the lock and then just move on with our lives. There we go. No! Okay, you know what? You're gonna cry. Yeah. That's what happens when you interrupt my ability to collect Baldy's money stacks, okay? Oh, looks like it's sweet. Oh, no! I saw him for a second there. He's moving so slow <laughs> and his handle's all bent. Oh, poor Gotta Sweep. Oh, the sad story of Gotta Sweep. The broom who just wanted to clean floors. Oh, here he comes. Very slowly. He's also very sad. He had eyes. He had sad eyes. Oh, that makes me feel bad. But on a much happier note, we only have one more notebook to get. And I think it's this one right here, right? Let's see. Oh no. Baldi is close though. He's really close and I'm not sure where he is. All right, this is it. Let's see what Baldi has to say for himself. Angry money, Baldi, go. All right, player. This is the final straw. You stole all my money stacks. You better not get out of here or else I will haunt your dreams. Oh. Oh, okay. Great. That sounds 
fantastic. Thanks, Baldy. What a what a fun, nice guy this Baldy fella is. Now, I did manage to lock him out of the cafeteria, but I don't know where he's going now. Uh, I think he went to the other side of the cafeteria, which is actually perfect. Um, I need to rebuild my stamina, though. This is very scary. We also need to keep an eye out for arts and crafters. No! No! Get away from me! Oh, oh no. Oh, we're done. We're done. Get him. Get, get away and run. And oh, I don't know which way to go. This is so bad. I really wish that this version of Baldi's Basics had the drinking fountains. That would be extremely helpful. I have to rest. It's the only way I can escape Baldi, but also he's right behind me. So, oh, great. Very cool. Very fun. Very awesome. Ouch. I feel like we're on the verge oh, of greatness my. here, completing this mod. So I'm going to give it money. another go. I mean, we don't even have to worry about principal or first prize. I can do this. Okay. It's time to engage sweaty gamer mode. I'm going to get real quiet. I'm going to focus. I'm going to focus on defeating Baldi and his greediness. Going to pay a quick visit to first prize and also going to use the weird radio thing. Uh, cassette player. Distract Baldi. I'm also saving my zesty bars this time around. I feel like that is much smarter. Oh no. Oh gosh. Oh no. Okay. Okay. Get get rid of playtime. We gotta run. We gotta run. It's our only choice. Okay. So things are not exactly going the way that I had planned. Uh, playtime kind of messed things up for me. I had to use one of my zesty bars to get out of her amazing trap that she set for me. And I might have to use another zesty bar just to get away from Baldi here, which is not ideal. It's everybody's favorite rapper. Give it a hand for, for playtime, everybody. We're so happy to see her. She's not completely ruining my plans. She totally ruined my plans. Okay, so we have one more notebook to get. I have zero stamina. Extremely bad for the record and playtime. She's just constantly rapping. It's fine if it didn't get in my way. That's the issue. But we did get the last stack of money. So there's that. I also have the big old boots. I don't know if that's gonna help me or not, but here we are. I have a plan. I'm gonna rebuild my stamina and then launch Baldi out of here. Okay. All right, now I have a little bit of stamina to keep me going. Grab this exit. And now the big old boots, I've never actually effectively used them, but they're supposed to protect you from arts and crafters, right? I sure hope so, because he's right in front of us and I just used them and they didn't do anything. I either used them incorrectly or I just don't know what they are. There you go, I failed again. <laughs> Welcome to my sushi bar. That's right. We're making sushi today, man I am kind of getting hungry. Um, actually, I'm not making sushi. I'm making noodles right now in this moment hold to make noodles Okay, so we got to give this guy the the heart face more. Oh, that's what I'm talking about Something about these noodles ain't right though. Like they kind of look like Cheetos <laughs> What do we put on it? Skittles? Is that supposed to be like Skittles? Uh, I'm gonna put some pepper. I don't know. Oh, I don't know about that one. That seems a little over the top. Maybe some herbs. Enjoy that, pal. You, you like it? Okay, so I'm supposed to... Oh my gosh, his mouth is on fire and... He's actually super happy about it. Like, as I make more money by, like, tapping the emojis that come out of my customers, which is just like real life, honestly. He loved it. I'm happy. I'll take my money. That was a hundred dollar bowl of soup. You unlocked a new dish, sashimi. I gotta tell you guys, sushi is actually one of my favorite foods. Um, And, and playing this is legitimately making me want sushi. I, I think I might order sushi for lunch. Let's make some sashimi. All right. Oh, okay. This is super cool. So I have to follow the line. It's really weird that there's some kind of weird, like, sleeping aid uh, ad in the background. <laughs> That's so funny. While I cut my sashimi, we can all talk about, you know, the, the need for sleep. 
or something. What do I do with this? That's is that literally all I'm giving her? What is that? Zyrol without sand? Huh? Is that toothpaste? What what is this? I'm I'm not gonna add it, but what I am going to add is some some herbs. I don't think you normally add like herbs to sashimi. This is my sushi bar. I make the rules and look at her. She loves it. The people can't get enough. Brilliant. Let's keep it going. Surprise box. Yes, open. I will watch your ad. Um, a chainsaw, huh? That's quite the gimmick for a uh, Japanese restaurant, I would have to say. If you roll up to a sushi bar and they're cutting your sushi with a chainsaw, um, first of all, I don't know if those are gonna be the cleanest cuts, but that would be something to see for sure. This man wants to eat literal rubies and gold. Do I serve that? Okay, I'm gonna make you that what oh my gosh it's a roll made of money you got to be kidding me <laughs> it's like gold chains wrapped in gold of course i'm gonna need a chainsaw for this thing holy cow that is the most disgusting thing i think i've ever seen but while we're at it let's add a diamond ring to it all right listen we're making sushi right now how dare you try to convince me to move to uh making making pizza although pizza's pretty good too it's, it's pretty high up there on my my food list as well i still would put sushi up above pizza okay now sushi rolls made of gold and hundred dollar bills and gold bars with uh you know diamond rings on top of them probably not my go-to dish of choice uh but at least you've got some soy sauce and wasabi to go with that what in the world is happening give me all those emojis though i will take all of the emojis this this man is insane but you know what in my sushi restaurant you get what you ask for and if that means that i have to make you a sushi roll that probably costs like ten thousand dollars i guess i'll do that tap to upgrade your restaurant Ooh. What? Okay, so I'm making $6 a minute, which I think is pretty good. What would that be in hours? That would be like $360 an hour? I think that's pretty good. Let's let's upgrade our restaurant and now will we get more stuff? Yes, money per minute boosted. Thank you. Can I spend more money? Yes, I can upgrade these tables. Okay. Um I don't think I can spend any more money but i can get a free upgrade if i watch an ad i'm gonna do it what i get what is that oh it's a plate all right i'm still only making six dollars a minute that's fine let's get to the real work make this dude some some noodles all right red noodles it's kind of weird i do have to say though the noodles coming out like play-doh like that they're very satisfying <laughs> What is this? It's just some, some like bark shavings. I love it. Enjoy that. Eat up, bud. Eat up. Give me those emojis. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, he loves it. Especially the bark. What is this? Nigiri. Is that how they make it? Like a weird tube? You just squeeze it out of the tube? I don't know how I feel about that. I will collect it though. A bear just walked up to my sushi bar and is asking for honey. I think you're in the wrong place, dude. You know what? I take care of my customers here. And you're a VIP? Oh my gosh. Say no more, sir. Say no more. Honeycomb coming up. Okay. Oh, all right. All right. Be nice and gentle with the, with the, the chainsaw. Get that honeycomb. Cutting it just right. I can't help but notice that there's some weird like glamour ads in the background. It's a little strange, but there you go. That's that's the kind of offerings that we have. What? Pizza Hub. This is the plate that I'm serving it on. I'm just gonna go ahead and serve it on my my fancy plate. There you go, man. Look at what is going on with that honeycomb. You're gonna eat it with wasabi and soy sauce? Wait, my guy wants gummy bears on his honeycomb? Is that cannibalism? If a bear eats gummy bears? I'm not gonna do that to you. What I am gonna do is add some bees just for good measure. <laughs> Eat it up, bud. There you go. Enjoy your, your honeycomb sushi. What a weird restaurant that I'm running here. Is that a battle axe? I'm gonna get a battle axe? Let's make some actual sushi. Well, this is nigiri. So, okay. Do you squeeze it out onto the plate? That is so, so upsetting. I don't like this. This doesn't seem like the way that you would make this kind of sushi. You just squeeze it out of a tube? Very strange. Very strange indeed. But if it tastes good, you can't really argue with that, right? Right? 
Here you go, add some peppers. <laughs> I love that they're just whole peppers. Entire peppers added to the top of your sushi. More power to you. <laughs> yep, you are shooting fire and very happy. Happy customer, happy sushi chef. Surprise box. I think it's a battle axe. Open, please stop. Oh, okay, my bad, not a battle axe. It's a guillotine. Even better, chop the head off of my sushi. Let's keep it going. Yes, she wants a sushi roll, she gets a sushi roll. Look at me go. Put thumbtacks in the sushi roll. I will put some cheese in the sushi roll. That's kind of a weird combo, but sure. And chop that up with my, my guillotine and dinner is served. How about some, some herbs? Yes, or just some leaves from the plant that is sitting on a shelf. Just shake the plant on top of your sushi. She loves it. Look at her, she's dancing. She's so happy. She hasn't even taken a bite of it yet. I promise, she loves it. What is this thing? A cheese grater? That seems like a weird thing to add to sushi. Maybe that's why we're so popular. Unconventional. That's right. I mean, I do serve bears at my restaurant. Sure, get the cheese grater. Uh, this is a scarecrow. The scarecrow wants hay sushi? First, let's let's see if we can upgrade our, uh, our restaurant here. Yeah, let's get better chairs. I'm gonna upgrade the one that the bear is sitting at because he's a VIP, he's important. Let's continue upgrading. Hey, I'm making $20 a minute now. That's awesome. Um, Can I upgrade my, my front desk? I can. Ooh, fancy. All right, Mr. Scarecrow, let's make this man some hay. All right, let's uh make some hay bales for my dude. <laughs> What? Okay, okay. Uh, I think I'm doing a pretty good job. This seems all right. I love that the what goes in the machine is just like raw wheat. And then what comes out is, is bales of hay. I'm just going to serve him on a plate because I've watched like 20 ads just to get to the point of making his food. I'm also going to grade some corn over the top of, of his delicious sushi. Oh, he's going to love that. Oh, man. Look at look at that face. That's the face of a very happy scarecrow. I'm glad that I could bring so much joy to his life. Now go scare some crows, man. My guy wants some sashimi, so I'm going to use my very delicate uh, guillotine <laughs> to slice off some fish. Oh, man. All right. All right. I, I think I'm doing a pretty good job, though. I think I've got a nice sense for, for how to uh, how to carve my sashimi. Look at that. He's going to love it. That's salmon sashimi. And that is good stuff right there. And, and we're going to grade some cucumber, which I could. OK, that is a little bit more conceivable. Cucumber is a very common ingredient in sushi. It's in most rolls. Um, so, you know, it's a little weird if you grate it over the top of sashimi, but definitely a lot more believable than just pouring peppers, just whole raw peppers on top of sushi. Not so common. Restaurant village. Oh my gosh. This is a restaurant village. What? I'm 20th in the world. Okay. Kind of cool. I guess I have the 20th best sushi restaurant. I'll take it. Upgrade the restaurant to be the best. Interesting. Ska Venger is uh, level 43. There's no way I'm catching up to them. I did, however, buy like the special VIP pack that gives me like all kinds of cool stuff. And it also gave me $7,000 to spend. So you know what? I'm going to spend it. Let's uh, let's upgrade our, our restaurant. Yo, that looks nice. Let's keep upgrading. Better chairs. Don't mind if I do. Yes. Yes. Wait, no, you tricked me. I got to watch weird dinosaurs fight. All right, keep upgrading. Upgrade the front desk. Upgrade the kitchen. Okay, so I have like a new room now. Oh, <laughs> I like. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's getting expensive though. Um, yeah, the, these uh, stove tops, kind of insane. I did get a new cooler for my fish and I pretty much spent all of my money. Fair enough, but I am making $29 a minute now. That seems good. Let's squeeze. Gross. The sushi extruder. The sushi extruder. That's what this thing is called. Why is the rice black? Th that does not seem appetizing. I don't think I've ever seen black rice before, but you know, once again, um, 
We do things unconventionally here at Kian's Sushi Restaurant, like serving our sushi on a plate that is actually just an egg. Yeah, that's how we roll. And then we uh, we just shave some, some corn on top of it. She loves it. She absolutely loves it. Look at that face. She's doing her little happy dance. Enjoy your meal. What did I get? Fish cleaning. Okay, I gotta try this. Let's slice. All right, we gotta descale. Okay, I understand. We're descaling using the very common tool of a, of an axe to do so. <laughs> Could you imagine the sushi chef back there with a big old axe scraping the scales off of fish? That would be incredible to watch. Oh, okay. Now we're- wah! Just chop the head off of that thing. Yo! Dang! We just mutilated that fish so quickly. That was very impressive. Maybe this battle axe is the tool that we've been waiting for to run this place properly. Oh, oh man. This is getting, getting wonky. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. I did a terrible job on one of those. You wanna, you wanna eat your sushi off of a pizza box? Of course he does. Who doesn't? Who doesn't want to eat sushi off of a pizza box? I'm gonna just shave some of this bark on top of your food. What? My internet? It just said my internet went out. I don't think that's true, but I'm not really paying attention right now. I'm just making sushi, and that's truly what matters. Hello, snowman lady. Um, you want ice cream sushi? Okay. VIP guest wants wants ice cream sushi. She will get ice cream sushi. How do you make ice cream sushi? This is how you make ice cream sushi, obviously. Uh, very, very strange, I do have to say, but also seems kind of good. Like, I, I, I'd eat that. What do we serve ice cream sushi on? What is the most appropriate thing. That seems pretty good. It's just like a steel plate, a cassette tape. That's not, that's not it. This is it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the one. Oh, that looks so good. That looks incredible. I don't know about the uh, wasabi and soy sauce. Not sure how that would go together, um, but let's shave this. What is that? Oh, I don't know if that's edible. Anyways, Enjoy that snowman girl. She's loving it. So you know what? She's happy. I'm happy. Is the next thing that I'm unlocking. Is that just like grating bananas? I don't know. Let's uh, let's roll some sushi though. That is certainly something that I am interested in doing. I'm going to add some, some, you know, thumbtacks to it. I know how much this guy loves thumbtacks. <laughs> and moldy cheese. Oh, oh, I, I'm sorry. I just, I had to try, you know, here, I'll just serve it on a nice simple plate or a hubcap. Not sure what it is, honestly. Um, and then we'll just grate some, some pickle over the top of that. Don't expect that he's going to love this but I'm gonna try. What do you think, dude? What do you think of that? Okay, we've got some very neutral faces. I'm okay with that. I had I had to give it a go. Watch out for those thumbtacks, by the way. Um, they add great flavor. They also add a bit of danger. It's a slicer. Oh, okay. So instead of grating the pickles, now we can slice the pickles, which I think makes more sense. I don't know. I just run a sushi restaurant. It's not like I actually know what I'm doing. I do see, however, that there's an alien standing in line and I really want to see what he wants. So let's let's take care of this lady. We're gonna, oh, those are black noodles? But why? I don't Ugh. We're gonna chop some some uh, dragon fruit. There you go. That's pretty good. Add some pickles. Why not? Serve it on a pizza box. So fancy. Give me those emojis. The money emojis. All right. Uh, do I have enough money to? Uh, I think I do. I think I have enough money to upgrade our shop. What is this? Oh, I got I got diamonds. I can add decorations. Ooh. Okay. Nice. I don't even know where I got those diamonds from, but uh, I'll take them. Yes. Let's upgrade our front camera. Counter. Should also upgrade some stuff in the kitchen. Okay. $57 a minute. Collect that income. Let's get to, to sushi extruding. Extruder. Uh, it's a hard word to say, okay? But it is a very strange process to experience, for sure. That's just something very disturbing about the way that sushi just gets squeezed out of that tube. Here you go. Eat it on a cassette tape. Who wouldn't want that? And just for good measure, let's kick up the, the spice factor here. Let's see if she starts blowing fire. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's a happy customer. You know, when customers are blowing fire out of their faces, they're in a good spot. What is that? Soup? Excuse me? Let's walk. He wants 
like cow goo? Oh, oh, I don't, I don't know about this, Mr. Alien. I mean, you get what you want, but I'm just gonna shave some, some alien heads and, and perhaps some golden pyramids on that for ya. Cause that makes perfect sense. And then it also makes a lot of sense to serve this on a lily pad, of course. Um, he loves it. You know what? If I can satisfy customers from another planet, nothing's gonna stop me. Welcome back to Roblox. It's me and Charlie living out on the streets, just trying to scrape by. Tough times. These are my friends. I got Charlie the spider, of course. I got my hat and I got my cardboard box and I can sit on my cardboard box. And times are tough right now, but I have a dream. I wanna become a billionaire. It's gonna take some work. It's gonna take some doing, but I think we can get there. This guy's in my space. You're in my box sitting space and I don't like it. And also, what are you drinking? Are you drinking Roblox people heads? He's straight up drinking Roblox people heads. It's messed up. I don't wanna be here anymore. Yeah, hang out over here. Can I, can I put my box on top of the dumpster? Yes, I can. All right, I found a new corner where weirdos aren't eating Roblox people heads. I don't know if I like it here anymore, but I feel like I got a brilliant idea. Let me pitch it to you guys. Hot dogs. That's right. I'm going to start my own hot dog stand. I'm going to create the world's most successful hot dog cart and become a billionaire. That's my dream. I'm going to make it happen. Enough sitting on this box. It's time to sit in front of a hot dog stand. You have earned on earth zero dollars. We're gonna change that. Look, I can double it. No, I'm not gonna double it. Welcome to Kyla Kian's HQ, the home of the world's greatest hot dog. This is my hot dog stand. We need to get to work because as you can see, we have zero dollars. How do we do it? We click the work button, <laughs> okay? We've earned four dollars. No, we've earned $3, but we could earn $4 if we upgrade our business. So I just need to keep working. Okay, uh, uh, now I can get a multiplier? Huh? How does that work? I have to spend money to get multipliers? Aha, I think I understand. So, okay, sort of, kind of? So as I earn more money, I'm able to spend money to multiply my money to make more money. That's how hot dog stands work. Or at least that's how hot dog stands work in Roblox. And this is how we're gonna become a billionaire. Also, I have $60 so I can purchase. Oh, I can purchase a new business. Okay, wait, get to $60, purchase the business. This is where my empire begins. Now I understand. We started out with hot dog stands, but now we're diversifying. That's a businessy thing to say. We're moving into the dairy market. People want their milk? Look at this. It takes longer, but you earn more money. Dude, that was almost 200 bucks. Okay, I understand. I understand. So check this out. We got our dairy factory going, but what's next? Oh. It's, it's giving me more things to do. Purchase a manager for the hot dog stand? Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Also, I don't mean to brag or anything, but I'm a thousandaire now. <laughs> Pretty exciting. Yes, purchase manager for $1,000. There he goes. <laughs> it's my hot dog manager. Okay, so that automates the process of earning money from the hot dog stand, which is awesome. Not to mention, I can actually like get a multiplier going for the hot dog stand. Oh my goodness, this is incredible. Now what's the starter pack? What do I get times 3.5 production boost times 12 money and you get just like 20,000 bucks for 600 Robux? I think that's a pretty good deal. As a businessman, myself, as a thousand air, I think that's pretty good. So I'm gonna buy it. And of course, this is a quick reminder in case you guys ever do purchase Robux in Roblox, you can use star code KEYIN. You can use that at checkout. It's completely free and you help directly support the channel. I really do appreciate it. Thank you guys. I'm a hundred thousand air. This is wrong, but let's buy a dairy manager for 15K and then, oh, bakery is next. You know what? Let's get ourselves a bakery going. Remember, the goal here is to become a billionaire and I think we're well on our way. So now I've purchased a bakery and i'm actually i'm gonna increase the multiplier here and uh and let's see what we earn 
How much money was that? Hold on, hold on. It's okay. Like I'm at like 400k ish right now. Yo, that was almost two hundred thousand dollars from the bakery. Bread is where it's at. That's incredible. Okay, you know what? We're buying a bakery manager. Next up is pizza. Ooh, pizza is like combining bakery with dairy. It's the ultimate business. And I'm a millionaire now. Holy moly! I love it. Okay, let's uh let's crank up the multiplier on the uh, on the dairy factory, and then let's purchase ourselves a pizza hut. <laughs> Sorry pizza place. I'm going to purchase some times 10 multipliers. Holy moly. So if I do one work, do I earn that? I earn 1.3 million? Yes. Yes, I do. That's pretty good. I need a pizza hut manager. I mean pizza place manager. How much? 500,000? Pocket change. Ice cream is next. <laughs> this is insane. I, I'm blown away at how quickly we are earning this much money. That is truly the exciting part about this. Now, what are the crowns for? Also, we're taking our business to the moon at some point? That seems crazy. Oh, they're rebirths. Okay. So rebirthing will cause you to lose all your money. We know that. Businesses will produce more money after rebirthing. You need 10 billion money to rebirth? I'm not even close to that. Okay, we, we still got work to do. Let's purchase Oh, I cannot afford an ice cream factory, but I can't afford these things. Okay, let's purchase this ice cream. I like that. What's next? Donuts. I like donuts. I love this little food empire that we're building. This is incredible. Let's go get some managers. You got to delegate these things. 1.2 million for an ice cream manager. 10 million for a donut manager. Okay. Okay. I think we're hitting our upper limit here. We're gonna have to start upgrading our businesses for sure. Uh, let's see, where do we want these to be at? I guess, I guess we probably wanna multiply the, the big earners, right? Like, we'll do that? Oh my goodness, 15 million every single time he presses the button. That's insane. I thought bread and dairy was where it was at. No way, it's all about ice cream and donuts and other stuff. I don't even know what comes next. Let's find out. Burgers. I could, I mean, yeah. McDonald's is our example here. That's, that's a multi-billion dollar business. We're coming for you, McDonald's. We do need a McDonald's manager. I'm sorry, burgers manager. I just got a badge, money, money, money. Oh, I hit a billion. Wait, what? I'm a billionaire, but I don't have a billion dollars. Maybe like if you combine all the assets that I have, I guess that's a thing that people do kind of. But it looks like next up, like we're moving out of the food businesses. We're moving into, I don't know, manufacturing stuff. Are we making cars? It just says factory. What kind of factory? It's a money factory. We're just printing money in there. No, that's extremely illegal. Let's find out. Let's see what it looks like. It looks like just a very nondescript building actually, but it gives us 1.3 Billion? Excuse me? How long does this bar take? Uh, oh, yeah. You know, that makes sense that it would take that long to, to, you know, make that kind of money. But as I multiply this, oh my goodness, that's insane. But as soon as this is done, we are officially a billionaire. <laughs> Which is pretty crazy. I guess I should get a manager for that one. But like, it takes so long to finish that progress bar, I, I feel like I could do it myself, but let's be honest, I'm probably gonna forget, so I should get a manager. And it's only gonna cost me $500 million. It's an expensive manager. He better be worth it. Next up is just police. I don't feel like there's that much money in a police business. I don't even know if you can make a business out of police, but who am I to judge? What does it cost? 2.1 billion? Okay, I, I've got the money. There you go. I now have a police station. Who would have known that you could make $16 billion from having a police station? News to me. I don't think I can afford a police station manager. Let's see. Yeah, they cost a billion dollars. So a police station manager is a billionaire. Who would have known? Should I start multiplying some of my... Uh, my bigger businesses, I guess I can start spending some, some money. I got this money. You gotta spend money to make money. 
That's the way it works, right? Look at that. I'm going to get 2.4 billion as soon as this bar is done. And it's nearly there. It's happening. Boom. Where's my $2.4 billion? Excuse me? Game? I feel like I've been robbed. All right, I'm not gonna worry about it too much. Police manager available for purchase. Okay, so now I can purchase a police manager and I'm gonna. I can't be trusted to press buttons. There you go. I just made like $3 billion. So one of the big bars must have just finished. Oh my goodness, this is truly insane. I wonder how like high you can get this hot dog stand going. It's kind of ridiculous how fast it makes money. Oh, but. Wait, does it slow down as I upgrade it? It's kind of hard to tell, right? I don't know, but at this point, I'm making quite a bit of cash for sure, but we still have like one more thing to buy. What's the ultimate thing you can buy? I don't know, I gotta make $25 billion. So while I make my billions of dollars, let's just kind of walk around, explore the world around us. There's, there's other things around here. Maybe I can buy some game passes. What is this? 14 day time warp? Get 14 days worth of earth profit instantly? What does that even mean? Permanent times 27 multiplier? I kind of really want that. I think I'm gonna do it and nobody can stop me except for myself, but I didn't stop myself. Now, do you think this stacks on top of the, the multiplier that we already have? I guess we'll find out pretty quickly. You can see our money is at times 42. Yeah, that's that's a thing. Our production is at times 4.5, which I assume is how fast the bar fills up. So if I purchase this one, it should be at seven. Let's see. I'm sorry, my math is very bad. It should be at eight, which is exactly where it's at. That is incredible. I now have $60 billion. What? Okay, okay. This seems pretty good. Let's purchase whatever this business is. What is it? Government manager? What? I just purchased an entire government and it's gonna make me two trillion dollars? Okay. Who, who needs to be a billionaire when you could be a trillionaire? <laughs> Sweet. Now here's my next plan. I think what I'm gonna do is spend almost all of the money that I have to get down to 10 billion, right? Because that's what I need for a rebirth. I gotta get to 10 billion but I should spend the extra money that I have. Oh my gosh, I just spent $50 billion. Okay, well, that was easy. What I'm trying to say is I should spend the money that I have down to 10 billion and then do a rebirth. Let's do it. Let, let's try. All my businesses are gone, but I guess I should have known, right? Should I have known? I guess I should have known. That kind of hurts. I'm not gonna lie. But my money is at time 71 now, which is quite a bit. It still says I'm a billionaire, even though I only have $2,000. Okay, my hot dog stand manager is making some magical things happen. Uh, but I guess we should get these going. Wait, can I? Oh, I can bring them. I can bring them back without having to spend any money. This seems a little wonky, honestly. There's some, I can't afford that. Yeah, obviously. Can I afford this? No, I can't afford that. But I couldn't afford the other ones either. I don't know. I'm confused, but I'm making money, so that's cool. Let's buy some managers. All right, so we'll get our dairy manager, our bakery manager, our pizza manager, our ice cream manager, and we can't get a donuts manager. We're not there yet, but we'll get there real fast. Actually, I should probably just hang out here. Wait, no, I don't have a donut shop yet. I need to get my donut shop back before I can get a donut manager, which is a great title. Manager of all donuts. So what does the next rebirth take? 20 billion. I'm just gonna hang out around here until I can purchase a burger manager. Just a cool hundred million dollars. Also, what is this? Cost 200 billion dollars. You know what? I think that's gonna be our next goal. We're gonna make that happen. But first, I need to bring back some of my other businesses. I, I don't have enough money. Okay, I guess we can buy some multipliers here. We should probably do that. Let's buy some multipliers. Okay, I'm back to being a billionaire, which is pretty cool. Um, let's get our factory factory back up and running. And then uh, let's get, oh, I don't have enough. Wait, I thought that said 52 billion. It's only 2 billion. We got our police station back. Then we got to get our government back. Government is back. 2.1 trillion dollars. <laughs> That's crazy.
I gotta get some more managers. Factory manager, police manager. I can't afford a government manager. 10 billion. Whew. That must be quite the resume. But there you go. Go get them, government manager. So we're making some serious cash right now. Um, I really want to get to whatever this is. 200 billion. I mean, basically all I need is one production of the government. But that takes an hour and a half. That's too long. I just hit $290 billion, just like that. I don't know what finished it. I guess maybe it was this, maybe? I don't know. Something big finished and I got a lot of money and I can now afford whatever this is. It's a button. <laughs> it's literally just a button. What is this, the billionaire button? I get $71 billion every time I press this button. Oh my gosh, I'm a trillionaire, guys. I've done it. Do I have a billionaire button manager? Or am I the only one who can press the billionaire button? I think I might be the only one. Yeah, I have all the managers I need. Oh my gosh. Okay, the billionaire button is, is pretty OP. Welcome back to Money Rush, a game that forces me to do math way faster than I should ever be doing math. We're level 32 in coin level, and now we're level 34. We start with $5.55, and uh, and then, of course, we multiply, and then we have to, like, make the least worst choice in these situations. I think this is the least worst choice. I think uh, times two is probably better. Times two is probably better. Times two is probably better. Oh, no, that's not good. I mean, minus $5. That's kind of stinky, but we'll take it. We'll do the plus two. We'll dodge the... The 90 cents or run right into it um why why you gotta keep running i mean i did just make 96 bucks so take it or leave it that's pretty good and did just get a high score okay i'm currently ranked as very poor i'd like to change that let's upgrade our coin level keep it going just just cash it in is this some kind of bonus level i don't think it is but i'm in the sky so that's kind of cool um gotta collect as many coins as possible get the 150 150 460 that's that's a great great play right there uh plus 1.7 don't mind if i do plus one dollar uh plus six dollars because 440 is uh, minus 10 ah you my brain my brain uh uh, d d d you want to divide by one because that does nothing minus seven dollars i guess just avoid that plus 160 plus two it, we didn't do as good as we did last round we did not do as good but my brain is in like full-on overdrive right now while well, i was trying to explain like in the middle of all that chaos 440 cents is less than five dollars you guys know that, but when it's happening very quickly, sometimes your brain is like 440. That's a bigger number than five. I got to do that. And then you're like, no, you're dumb brain. And then you're like, please just let me think about this. And the game's like, no, you're playing. And then you have a full anxiety attack. Anyways, let's move right along, shall we? Let's level up. We got money. Let's spend it. Okay. Uh, uh, dollar uh, 60 and 160 cents is the same exact thing. So that was a very eventful situation. Situation. Times four, definitely. Divide by one, obviously. Uh, plus, plus 55, plus 90. It, although both of them are fine. Uh, we want to get the divide by one because that actually does nothing. Uh, minus three dollars. Yeah, that's probably the better choice. Seven dollars, 55 cents. These are so hard to dodge. Okay, well, I managed to dodge it. I guess, really, you only have to dodge with the front coin, maybe? I guess only the front coin matters? Really, no. But we'll figure it out. Okay, we're now level 48, which is kind of crazy, because we haven't even been playing that long. But I kind of want to try the start big upgrade. I'll watch your ad. Look, I even get to play it. I get to be the, a, a fox with a gun. Seems very dangerous. Hello, fellow fox. Don't shoot at me, man. It's not cool. Uh, hey! Oh my. Oh my. Okay, well, our forest is on fire. Uh, that seems bad. I'm just gonna go ahead and stand in the middle and just press the shoot button and win. Hey, we're starting with 30 bucks. Let's make this count. Hit that times five. Oh, baby. 160. Okay, we just need to dodge that. Okay, very nice. Uh, we want the times two. We definitely want the times two. Okay. Uh, plus 40 cents. No, plus 10 dollars. 
Uh, minus 755 cents plus two dollars and seven cents confused uh times two times two you want times two all oh my gosh 748 that is so far beyond anything we've ever done before that was insane also i just unlocked pizza look at me i'm a pizza uh, I just made $40,000. Um, I'm no longer very poor. I think I'm just regular poor. Kind of cool. But if money were pizza, I'm like a trillionaire. Anyways, uh, we can upgrade a lot. So I'm gonna do exactly that. Oh my goodness. That is crazy. Now level 88. I, I feel like the start big button is so worth it. I'm doing it. Okay, we're starting at $43. That is amazing. Uh, uh, plus one dollar, thank you. Plus one dollar and three cents. I'll take it. Actually, thirty cents. We want the multiplier all day, every day. Okay, this was an extremely short level. Still pretty good. I mean, almost two hundred bucks. Uh, definitely would have beaten our previous high score, but the high score that we set down in the last level, almost 3,000. I don't, I don't know how we're ever gonna beat that. I'm gonna try. Let's upgrade. We can go up 12 levels. There you go, level 100. That's crazy. Uh, should we do the start big? Yeah, you know, I can't help it. I'm gonna do it. Starting at nearly $50. Let's go times five. Let's uh try to do some some smart math. That's a lot to ask, I know. Uh, 60 cents and then times two. And that's gonna be $500. Okay, Uh, I don't know where that puts us in comparison to where we were at before, but that was still pretty insane. Uh, that level was super short though. I feel like they're kind of holding me back with these super short levels. Still poor, but I have 10,000 bucks. It's pretty good, it's pretty good. Gonna upgrade as much as I can. There you go, that's max. Um, And this level seems like it might be a little bit longer. I see a lot of obstacles that are gonna force me to make a decision that is bad either way, which is always a bummer, but let's do start big. Okay. <laughs> $63. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Um, let's avoid dividers. I feel like minus, that's okay. We can handle that. Dividers, very bad. Multipliers, very good. This is like so disappointing. I really, really thought that this level was gonna be much longer and not giving me super long levels, which is a mega bummer. So we're now sitting at level 141, $22 right off the bat. <sighs> I gotta start big. All right, let's do this. We got $70 to work with. Uh, man, I hate when I have to make a bad decision either way. Uh, plus 130 cents seems good. 460 seems good. Uh, not the minus or divide by two. And then just no multipliers and... <laughs> why, why are these levels getting shorter? All right, you know what? We're not going big anymore. I'm not going big until I feel like it's really time. I'm just gonna stick to the norm. I kind of do want to be crowns though. I need to watch three ads. Yeah, I'll do it. Boom, crowns now, which have to be worth way more than just coins. I mean, they're made of gold. Oh my gosh, look at all these crowns. <laughs> There's so many. Uh, yeah, I think it's safe to say that I'm kind of like rich now because um, crowns are worth a lot more than coins. We just got a times four multiplier. We're going to want that divide by one and then give me a plus 270 and then give me a plus that. And there you go. You make $100 in crowns, but really it's probably more like $100,000 because that's a lot of gold and jewels. Let's not forget about the jewels. I see a times two multiplier. I'm gonna go big. I now have $73 worth of coins, I guess. I, 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 or, or crowns. I don't really know how to explain it. It's just a giant mass of crowns and everybody better watch out. We don't want times one. That does nothing for us. We do want this. We want that. And we want that. I wish there was more multipliers. I'm very disappointed. But that was a lot of crowns. There's no denying that. Could you imagine if you sold all those rubies? I mean, I'm basically a trillionaire at this point. The game just doesn't know it. I'm not going big on this level because I don't see any crazy multipliers right off the bat. Like if you see a times four or times five multiplier, that's the dream. Uh, we want to save. Don't, don't buy drinks. They're so overpriced. We want to party or go to school. Go to school, man. That's an easy choice. Easy life choice. I do not see a crazy multiplier. I do see 25% taxes, which is awful. So you know what? We're not going to go big. We'll go times three, we'll add, but we're gonna get 
divided by 25%. That hurts. I'll take the minus $3.95, and I'm glad that I did not start big on this level. That would have been a waste. I did just unlock shurikens. That's kind of amazing. Let's be shurikens. That seems dangerous. I see a times two multiplier. You know what? Let's start big. Okay, so we're starting at $75, which seems really good. Hit the times two multiplier. Doesn't matter if we hit the divide by one. Let's see. Oh, come on. Why you gotta throw taxes in my face? That's very rude. Uh, plus one. Yeah, okay. Well, that was, that was not as amazing as I was hoping it was gonna be. I didn't know there was taxes at the top of that hill which is a weird thing to say. Is this the dream? Should we go for it? I'm gonna go for it. All right, we gotta hit times two. That's a no brainer. Obviously we wanna hit 45 cents. Uh, yeah, 170% interest. That seems good. Okay, I'll take that. Uh, divide by two, that kind of hurts. 70 cents, 75 cents, and then a dollar. <sighs> we need the times four times five multipliers. How else am I gonna become a shuriken billionaire? All right, let's do this. $4.30, 160% interest. I'll take it. Thank you. Uh, 230 cents. That's probably the best choice there. Uh, minus five times two, minus $2. Yeah, that's the right choice. Uh, I see a lot of red and I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Uh, we'll go minus $5 instead of dividing by two. That would be a tragedy. Not a terrible run. Got a lot of shurikens. Very sharp edges. I'm going back to crowns. I feel like crowns give me more power. I'm the king. Let's go. I just love the idea of this giant like army of crowns and it's growing larger every moment. Oh man, 30% taxes, ouch. <laughs> I'm very glad that I did not use the go big upgrade on that level. What'd we unlock? Burgers, that seems funny. Look at all those burgers. Oh my gosh, it's making me hungry, honestly. Let's do this. I want the largest army of burgers the world has ever seen. It's very hard to kind of control this thing though. Uh, do I work or chill? I work, of course. Okay, uh, times one, who cares? Keep it going. Minus one dollar. That's probably not gonna hurt all that much if I did run into that. There you go. It's $260 worth of burgers. I feel like it's a lot more than $260 worth of burgers. Still, I feel like the play is the crowns. They're worth so much more than just regular money. They're filled with jewels and they're made of gold. I'm pretty sure I'm a billionaire in crowns. You guys know anybody who wants to buy a billion dollars worth of crowns? Welcome to Money Tree. This is my money tree. It's not that impressive right now, but it is growing dollars. I mean, it's literally a tree that is growing money. And if I tap it, I can I can take that money. But right now I'm only getting about 10 cents per tap. I know that we can do better. And of course, to do that, we need to tend and care for our money tree. I see some exclamation marks. I'm gonna click on the farmer guy. Oh, oh, I can hire helpers. <laughs> like I can get just like the neighbor kid. Hey, neighbor kid, come feed my money tree. There's also a mysterious stranger. What? Oh, it's a gardener. Okay. And then the next one costs $2,833. Oh, or you can use these magic beans, which I'm expecting. Okay. You can spend money on these, which uh, I may end up doing. You know what they say? You got to spend money to make money. And in this case, we have to spend money to make a money tree. So I guess this automates the process so that I do don't have to tap as much, but I feel like kid is more valuable, right? This is 20 cents and now I'm getting $2, uh, almost $2. We're getting there. Yeah, $2 a second. How many can I get? I'm just gonna add a whole bunch of neighbor kids to help me grow this tree. Oh, that's it. Okay, 22 of them. I have a lot of neighbors. Yo, I just got gold beans. Okay, and now I have this watering can, which, okay. So I also spend money to improve this. I can also get a hose. Yes, can I afford the hose? Yes, I can. Yo, what was that? Oh, it was power rain. I guess I missed it because I was inside of the menu. I want to see the power rain. Okay, so we need to watch that bar. Once it fills up, we get power rain and we were getting like 70 bucks every second. That was awesome. More of that, please. Okay, so this improves how much I get with each tap. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. I just got an achievement. A gentle touch. Okay. And then, yeah, look at that. I'm getting $2.10. That's a huge improvement. We were doing 10 cents every tap before, and now we're making bank. 
And what is this two times thing? Double your money production for two hours. Is that like two real life hours or like in-game hours? I don't know. I'm gonna watch an ad. Okay, so now we're getting plus $4.08 per second, which means I don't even need to tap, which is kind of sweet. But I can tap and then I can get a lot of money going. What's this lightning bolt about? Aha, power-ups. Oh my goodness. I feel like I'm playing a Roblox game. <laughs> And I can't help myself. I just got an ice cream truck and now the kids are more efficient because they're hyped up on sugar. Amazing. I also doubled my money production forever. Pretty sweet. Yo, watch a video to multiply by five your earnings of the next power reign. I am so doing that. Nice. Okay, so uh, now I'm making $4.20 every time I tap the tree, but obviously I can do better. So let's go over to our gardeners and yeah, let's add in. Is that a robot? No, it's fireman. I always get firemen and robots mixed up. Bad habit, I guess. Is that a llama? Maybe a bunny or a horse or something. It's going to cost me $41,000 to get that thing. We'll get there and then let's upgrade our equipment so that we can make our taps more valuable. And there you go. Okay, so let's see what we're earning now. $8.80 every single tap. Okay, this is... It's getting good. It's getting good. Okay, but of course, part of the process of growing your personal money tree, taking care of the actual tree. Like, yeah, I've been getting money from it. I've got people to tend to it. I've improved my equipment, but I think if we click on this thing in the middle, uh, yeah, okay, here we go. So we got fertilizer, and this is going to increase the ability of our tree to grow. And that's what we want. The power rain. The power rain is coming. Ho, 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 ho. Oh my gosh. Okay, so every single time it ticked, we got $1,800. <laughs> now we have $10,000. Um, yeah, more power rain, please. I would like more of that. So now we can spend. Let's spend. I got a fire truck. Sure. I now have three fire trucks watering this thing constantly, I guess. This is awesome. Oh my goodness. So I'm making $142 per second plus... Each of my taps is giving me $20.08. This tree was a great investment. And now I can add bananas. Okay, banana peels apparently improve the fertilizer of my tree. Make it grow. Make it strong and healthy. Oh, my tree! It's like an actual tree now. It was a twig before, but now... Now it's a slightly more advanced twig. Still making that money. All right, so I just purchased a whole bunch of magic beans, which I can use to buy better stuff, which I'm gonna do. Also, I think I can get a lawnmower now. Yep, okay, the kids are more efficient. Uh, I can also get water balloons. Also makes the kids efficient for some reason. Seems like that would be a distraction though. What is this? Summer break. Oh my gosh. I feel like there's labor laws against this. Should we buy a shovel using our magic beans? Yes. Gardener efficiency times two. <laughs> Gard DIY fertilizer. I want to know what those gardeners are doing in my garden. Use more beans. I got 3,500 of them. I will I will use them. Mjolnir. Okay, sure. My gardeners are now Thor. Amazing. My fireman efficiency times two because I also brought 101 Dalmatians to, to my money tree. There's a lot of people hanging out around my tree. It's getting very crowded. Give those firefighters an axe. There you go. A mighty axe. It's not a regular axe. Please do not use that to chop down my money tree, though. Get him a ladder. Get him shoes? These dudes were gardening without shoes? Now I feel bad. What is this? A safe jacket, because you never know the hazards of watering a plant. Watering can efficiency times two. Okay. And oh, okay, this increases the hose efficiency, and then this increases the fire truck efficiency. Oh my gosh. There's so many power-ups, and I'm making 30, 40, 40,000. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm just making a lot of money right now and I'm not even tapping. Okay. What about these guys? Yeah. Okay. Let's get an airplane. <laughs> what? The air force is now helping me uh, grow this tree and now clouds and now t tornadoes. What? A water truck, a sprinkler, a water tower, alien technology. That's right, folks. We now have alien technology helping us bring our money tree to full growth. It's about to power rain. Oh, I should do the, I should do the times five. Okay, yes. Give me Angry Birds too. I don't care. I'm getting times five power rain. Power rain, power rain. <laughs> Look at all these achievements I'm getting. Oh, let's go. I just made like $100,000 just from five seconds. 
seconds of rain. Yeah, this is getting kind of insane. Uh, I think it's time to help our tree grow beyond what it's grown. Um, let's give $64,000 to get some Epsom salt. Guess that helps things grow. Is this gonna increase my, my tree? It is. That, that's a proper tree right there. This is awesome. This is, what? Every single tap, I'm getting almost $1 million. Okay, I was not expecting that. But I was gonna say, this is like a super snappy Roblox simulator. And I love every moment. I'm rich, I'm even richer. Uh, this seems stupid. How much money I'm making from this tree right now. $100 million, here we come. That's, yep, that's a that's an achievement. That's too much money. Not for the owner of a money tree. Oh no, the money has changed me. Okay, let's um improve our, our workers, I guess. Um, I wanna know what this thing is. It's a llama. I called it, but now we know. <laughs> It's definitely a llama, a plumber. Can't help but notice that dude is dressed like someone I know. Any guesses who it might be? That's right, it's Sonic the Hedgehog. All right, let's move on to the next one. It's an elephant. I, yeah, that's right. I now have a pet elephant taking care of my money tree. $118 million for the next thing. What? It's a president. Sure, welcome to my garden. It's a me, plumber. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, this is great. Yeah, um, it's safe to say that I'm making quite a bit of money from this tree. Uh, let's let's make it even better. I can get more power-ups now, so you know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna use my magic beans, increase the llama efficiency. Oh my goodness, a llama wearing hipster glasses. Amazing. A wool poncho for my llama. Selfie smile? I'm not sure how that it improves the efficiency of my llama, but I approve. Get this plumber a red mushroom. Get him a taller brother, a power star. You know it. A box, a question mark block. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Princess Peach, but not Princess Peach. Stolen princess. We don't want to infringe on any kind of copyright. Oh, get the elephant a fez. Every elephant needs a fez. Toenail art for my elephant. Tusk polisher for my elephant. A bow tie. Oh my gosh, this dude's gonna be adorable. I got in-flight Wi-Fi for my Air Force. <laughs> What? My clouds are now more efficient. My tornado is now more efficient. Bulk tire, oh, for the water truck. Okay, goodness gracious. Fancy logo for my water tower. And now my uh, alien technology is more efficient because every alien technology needs a generator, apparently. This is stupid. How much money am I gonna make from one tap? Oh, just a cool $2 million. Okay, that's dumb. Should we go to a billion? I mean, at this point, we kind of have to. And honestly, it's not gonna take that long. We're already at a quarter of a billion. Just tap away. Oh, we're getting mega rain. Oh my gosh, I didn't even notice the power rain. A billion right there. The power rain took us to a billion and I didn't even do the times five thing. I'm gonna do it now so I don't forget. Watch that ad. Nice. Five times multiplier. So the next time it rains, we're making some insane cash. But I think the time has come to improve our tree yet again. It'll only cost us $800,000. And now we have horse feed, which I think is gonna take our tree to the next level. That is an impressive looking tree. It's it's at 250 meters? Is that what that said? That's kind of crazy. Let's keep it going. What is this? $9.8 million for used tea bags. That's all it takes. But hold up, $9.8 million for used tea bags? What kind of tea is this? And how many tea bags did I just buy? <laughs> That's so expensive. But let's take our tree to the next level. Oh, nine kilometers. Hold up, nine kilometers. That's like four miles tall. My tree is officially as big as like mountains. How tall are the Himalayas? Okay, so Mount Everest, the peak of the Himalaya mountains is 5.5 miles high. What'd that say? We're at nine kilometers? Nine kilometers equals 5.59234 miles. Our tree is literally taller than Mount Everest. Everest now. That's insane. I'm kind of scared. I mean, if I shake this tree, how long does it take for the money to actually fall down to the ground? <laughs> That's crazy. Let's make it bigger. And all we need to do is give it fish bones? Apparently. How tall is this thing gonna get? Uh, uh 14 kilometers apparently, and it looks like we are in outer space. Yeah, this is getting nuts. Let's keep it going. I don't have enough money to buy whatever is the next thing, but I do have enough beans. <laughs> Coffee grounds? 
7.7 billion dollars in coffee grounds. Sure, sure thing, boss. 200 kilometers. That's a 200 kilometer tall tree. That's like 100 miles. Actually, according to this calculator, it's 124.274 miles. That's really tall. Hold up, how far is the moon from Earth in miles? We're actually a, a little ways off from that. It's uh, 238,900 miles away from Earth. But we're getting there. We're taking this tree to the moon. Let's buy the next thing. I have the beans for it. Eco technology. And that will take us to the next stage. 20,000 kilometers. There's the moon. I don't think we're at the moon, but we're getting very close to the moon. Let's keep this going. This is ridiculous. Dinosaur ashes. Okay, that makes sense that that would be that expensive. That actually makes a lot of sense. 350,000 kilometers. Oh my goodness. And then we're fertilizing our tree with alien poo. <clears throat> oh, it's power rain time. Let's do this. 800,000 kilometers into the sky. Um, it seems like this might actually be dangerous for like human life at this point. This tree is gonna take over the entire galaxy. So for $1.1 trillion, we get the next thing, which is space crystals. It's amazing how far we've come, right? We've spent $2.5 billion on coffee grounds, which is a lot, but I appreciate that we're now buying space crystals, which probably no one has access to, for $1.1 trillion. And this is the max level of our tree. Like, <laughs> it doesn't even know. It doesn't even know how tall my tree is. We've gone beyond all human comprehension. So now what I'm gonna do is is basically spend all of my magic beans to make everything better. <clears throat> I'm going crazy and I don't even know what I'm doing. I mean, can I take my watering can to level 100? I can afford it. This isn't even putting a dent in my savings account. Can we go beyond 100? Yes. Yes, you can. Okay, that's dumb. But check this out. $16 million every single time I tap my tree. 16 million. I want to get to a trillion. Oh, who's next on my gardener hires? A superhero. I got a straight up superhero helping me out now. That seems pretty good. Uh, aliens are investigating my giant tree. What? Wait, what does that mean? The end? What is that button? You can retire now. The, the game just told me. I can retire. It was one of the achievements. Um, do we press this button? I guess we press the button. Your tree is the biggest in the universe and you are the richest person alive. You can plant a new tree and win lots of bonuses? Grow new tree? No, absolutely not. I put way too much time and effort into growing this bad boy. I am not giving up my amazing money tree. Now what I am gonna do is upgrade all of my helpers and we're gonna get this thing to a trillion. I wanna make a trillion dollars. I really like my money tree.